Okay. So all pleasantry shared. I do this on behalf of Dr. Uh, Stephen Nkansa Morgan, who will continue with you on the link he shared, God willing, next week, before the tutors take, take up their role as well. I was just explaining. My name is Dr. Miles, okay, so that, that goes on record. I was explaining that the, the distance education program requires that lectures, or if you like, fully fledged faculty members try to do the, at least the introductory sessions for them. You don't want the entire stuff done by peer tutoring like the system runs over there. Okay, so that's why I want to emphasize the fact that this is a colleague lecture holding up the phone for my colleague. And what should you know, we want to make the best of the time, then the substantive content proper will be continued. Groups one and two virtually did introduction to the course. I worked them through finding their way on Sakai. And I want to do the same because you had the, the same crop of students. It's the same class, it's just because of the numbers that we have uh, cut you into groups for easy access. So you can manage, uh, we can manage you and you can also benefit fully. Okay. So I think that this is a relatively smaller class. We wouldn't even have to emphasize much on the online etiquette. But hopefully, when most of you register, they will have a streaming. This afternoon's class, I think the 1030 to the 12th group two exceeded 300. So you can imagine how chaotic sometimes it can be if we have a class size of say 500. So the principles are the same, just in case we, we grow into that numbers, which we are anticipating we would. Then you want to maintain the etiquette that helps for online teaching. That is preliminary because if not, then you can't hear me and I can't hear you. You won't hear your colleague and that will not go well for you. You are going to write an exam. You want a degree. You are a distance education program. And you are on a distance education program. The, what that means simply is that you run your lectures from home or from office or under the tree somewhere, relaxed. That's the only difference. But the content and the delivery and everything are top notch, if you will allow it. Okay, so we want to maintain those and I want to set that as a preamble. The second thing is because it is fully online taught, I've received some few queries. I say I have received because of where I sit in the scheme of affairs. I coordinate the course, so I, I do the administrative things around the course apart from teaching it. So I've seen some of your emails. The questions some people are asking are already answered. And so that leads me to my second point that I want to address as part of introduction. University education, especially University of Ghana, is, is quote and unquote a serious business. You see, we treat our customers, our clients, you, the student, as mature people who are grown. It's not age alone, but that's why the degree you earn is an honorary degree. You have to carry yourself that way. So if an, a notice is put out there for you, it is your responsibility to read it, you see. It will help you be a good minister, for example when you go to parliament, an MP, and you are given a document, dosia, to study for the next day's proceedings, you, you will read. Yes, I won't kind, you won't read anything, and you go and sign things and sell as a, you see. So read announcement, and go for resources, go after the content. Don't sit and wait for the content to get to you. Please, who 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 get the link for today? Today, I, I can't do your pigeon work. Who, who, who got the link? They, you know, no. The person who has the link or the person who has the resources got it from somewhere that is accessible to you also. So we want to inculcate that and, and emphasize that very much because there can be last minute change. You see how the links, the link for even our session changed last minute. So if all the person mm -hmm. does is to wait for someone to find something for him to see, then it will be problematic. You have to know how to fish for yourself. That's why we make everything open. So Sakai, the animal called Sakai. Let me just pause from our slides now and go quickly to walk you through Sakai, which is the learning management system. I think what I will do with you will help you in your other courses as well. And you're studying in the University of Ghana as a D student, as a distance education student. It will help you because this is our classroom, virtual classroom. And finding your way around it is as crucial as knowing the content. Sometimes people know what they want to write but they didn't 
go to the exact place to post it, or they didn't know how to find their way around locating the assignment or what is the discussion to how to post the response. And so they just lost 20 marks or something like that. They didn't know that test and quizzes is timed. So they went to save it as a draft. They thought it was saving as a draft. That meant it has been submitted. And they were on number three. So they got three over 30, you know, stuff like that. It can be very, very disheartening when the student knows his or her stuff, but just didn't know how to the pedagogy part. Okay. So I like to work students through whenever you begin the semester, especially these students. So I'm going to do that with you. Let me sign out of Sakai quickly. And that's what happened with groups one and two. And we, so that we don't have too many excuses. I don't know if you don't know your way around, just in case this, this is perhaps your first time doing virtual class. Then if you want to ask a question, you go to the reactions and then you, you tap on the, the icon that raises the hand and then I will see you on my screen and call you. I have tried to mute everyone. Sometimes we inadvertently open our microphone, but we, we want to keep it muted as much as possible. Keep it muted. And if you want to speak, then you raise your head. That's very decorous. We'll have a very effective class. You yourself, you will be fulfilled. That is D, but I had a complete full-time study time. Okay, then you don't waste your resources. So back to Sakai, which I'm trying to show you. Um, where is that screen? Yeah. Now, so I've signed that. If you log into University of Ghana website, www.ug.edu.gh, that's the website, University of Ghana.education.ghana. If you log into that and enter, it will take you to an interface, the UG website. By now, you should be very familiar with that. Okay. That's where a lot of information will be. For distance education students, that's your reference point, first and foremost. Go to the UG website. What, what they published as your school fees? When you went through the featured links and looked for the details of school fees, when did they say your, your, your lectures began? A lot of people don't know that lectures has begun, have begun for D. They. they don't know. They are listening to what everybody is saying. Oh, mom, see February. Oh, I can in there. You are sitting down. You're a distance education student. You go to the website, you go through the featured links, you'll find how to register properly. Some people haven't registered for UGRC one page. They haven't. And they say that the thing is not showing. They are sending you plenty of emails. And registration is not done by anybody, but by the student. Okay, so I need you to familiarize yourself with the interface for University of Ghana website. If you go there, go through the featured links, then you will find the Sakai. LMS, the Sakai Learning Management System on those featured links. Maybe I should do that for you to see. Then you select that and you are good to go to enter into the Sakai platform, which you can think of as our classroom. If you are seeing my screen, yes, I think you are. This is what I meant. See, I, I keyed in www.ug.edu.gh. It took me to this our very beautiful interface, University of Ghana interface. It has for staff, student, alumni. I'm using a laptop, so I think the presentation may not be exactly like what you see on the screen, but it's not too different. Then you, you scroll all the way down. These are the featured links. Look here. It normally captures important stuff that the, the university wants to put across. So it's featured, supported. Okay. On it, see admission status checker, HEC or UGRC registration for level 100, colleges of humanities and education students. So you will be here. This is where you will pick your HEC courses from or your UGRC courses from. There are others who pick this from here because they are basic. Look at it, colleges of basic and applied science and health science students and so on and so forth. Join the UG alumni, general amnesties, donation to blah, blah, blah coronavirus, and then right after Kuru, you see Sakai LMS. That was what I was saying. So you select Sakai LMS here, and it will open to where I was before. Okay. Don't give me any excuses, so my dear friends. If exams results or something is really, don't, please, I didn't say that one is not an excuse. I didn't know it's not an excuse at all. At all. Okay. So it takes you to where I was. This is it. Then you key in your student ID that is on your admission letter. I am keying in my staff ID. 
And you put the pen that was given to you also on your student ID. Voila. When you enter, it should take you to the course site. The site of Sakai. And here I have to share. I think that what I was sharing earlier has disappeared. We are still seeing the gone. So let me show you what, sh what should show now when you key in the details. If you have any questions so far, do not hesitate. Just raise your hand. I will see and I will call you. So it took me, let, let's go one, one step back. Very important. I was out like this. Yeah, I was here. So I just keyed in. This is what I did. The username is your student ID. The password is your PIN. And so when you enter, then it brings you to your course site. Now take note that when I entered like this, what is highlighted here is the home icon. Look, the home tab, I think. Home. It means that I am not in any specific course site yet. And this is where some of you are found wanting. As soon as they enter Sakai, like they say that there's no announcement there. I didn't see the, the assignment. It's not there. It's not on the tabs. Look, that's what they tell you. <laughs> you should have gone for the orientation for Sakai navigation. It is your classroom. So I want to help people because as for this our course, it's solely online. Even that, that information, people still kept sending emails to us. Where will we do our lecture tomorrow? I said, ah, but we say we are giving you links. Eh? Links to assess the class. Even if you didn't see it on the course outline, which you should have, because the notice said, go and assess the course outline. If you didn't, and you just didn't know what to do at all, the announcement says, assess your meetings or your lecture tomorrow via the following links. We don't need links to travel from home to a uh, city campus lecture hall. See, it's not the links that bring, so that alone, is, it's for analysis. Oh. So sometimes you don't know the answer, but you can analyze, you open out what the person said. It can give you a suggestion on what you should do. The links should tell you that our courses are solely, for DE, solely online. So you won't have any in-person session, okay? But it will be as effective as it should be. In fact, it will be to your advantage because you will always have the content to be referred to again. Lady Comfort, please ask your question. I mute all again, then you're mute and ask. I see your hand up. Please go ahead. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Please, please, my question is, um, I was trying to log in with the Sakai, but then they said my... They said what? Um, but I there. Oh dear. I think we lost comfort. We'll wait for her when she comes. Then she can ask her question. But I suspect it's something with um, Sakai. That's why I'm taking time on behalf of my colleague, of course, to help. Emerald Kumi, go ahead. Comfort, when you come on, they ask your question. I think we lost you. Go ahead, Emerald. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my lady. Please, I was trying to assess my son. We lost Emerald too. Okay, so I was trying Emerald. to wait uh -huh. for some days before. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes, yes I, I was told to wait for four days. I wanted to access my Sakai um, mail today, but in, when I went to the ICT lab today, I was going to wait for four days before I can uh, access the worry. Sakai. So because it's fine. Don't worry. That's why we haven't asked any assignment. That's why even this notice I posted to the whole site so that people will share mm -hmm. for others who are not yet on, on site, you know, to, to get the link. That is why mm -hmm. even this discussion is being recorded so that those who will come in later or get us. It's not our responsibility to do as lectures. We would have ignored it, but we also have a human right. face to what we do. Okay? okay. So assessment won't even be open till sometime the third week because registrations are still okay. open till 
I think end of January. So you can't assess people when others are still coming. Why? Uh -huh. But right. I'm walking you through right. the day you finally see Sakai on your turn and you praise God. After that, this is how you navigate. All right. I think that is what uh, Comfort was also communicating. So we will go on. Just patiently wait and keep checking. Okay. There's no money in the system. So people are still gathering resources to pay fees and all that. We understand. Okay. But you want degree, Abi. Abi, <laughs> Abi, you want degree. So mine shall not live by bread alone. God will help us. Yo, let me continue. So we are at Sakai now. I said, when you get to the Sakai site, this is a lecture site. So you would see, you see that there are quite a number of course sites. I'm getting you familiar with the terminologies. That gets scary sometimes. Someone sent an email and said, please, where is the app for site info? I say, hey, Sister Ajua, <laughs> well, and you have landed in Legon, the, the app for site info and things like that. I said, this is all language. Site info is not an app. It's not a, a, an application that you download, not at all. So I want you to be familiar with the terms so that when we say, have you checked the course site? What did you see at site info? Did your resource to say that it doesn't look all alien to you? It's nothing much. Even WhatsApp, right? you, you know, TikTok and Facebook, you know, you know how much more Sakai. So it's just a matter of giving you some kind of orientation. That's what we are doing. So when you get to the site like this after you log in, what you do next is to go to the specific course site you want to engage. I am a lecturer. So like I said, I have different courses. I teach, look at my the top here, CPHCL 201. This is philosophy and classics 201. This is field 307. Philosophy of uh, uh, rationalism is a philosophy course for level 300. This is UGRC 150. If I open to even here, look at the top right corner here, I'm pointing at it, where the nine square dots are. If I select, you see the courses I have listed. All oh, these are courses <laughs> we have taught and we continue to teach, you see that. And so you too, you will see at that place, the specific courses you are signed into for the first semester of 2022, 2023. That's the academic year we are in now, first sem. Last semester was the second semester of 2021-2022. That's how we interpret this. Now, for your course site, if you went there, you will see that your courses, after the course code, let's say PSL 201, what you see next is 30, 30. For all the courses listed for you, you will see 30 after the course code. So if it is business, if you are doing, say, human resource, you have UGBS 101, say, yeah? UGBS 101. Then the next description will be 30, 30, S1, 22, 23. That simply means you are a level 100 student in the business school taking the course, if it's introduction to business administration or something, mm, at the campus of what distance education. So distance education is the one that has the 30, 30. That is why it will run through all your courses. I am not in one campus because I'm not a student. I'm a lecturer. So here you see a course that is for main campus. One is main campus, four is city campus. Some of you are D student and then you followed your friend to go and register. You have gone to reg <laughs> register as a main campus student. And take, sometimes it takes years to correct that registration. And then you come and do the course again because people don't know. They didn't even see that they have aired. I pray that that doesn't happen to you. Okay, so we are going to our UGRC 15030 course site. Why there? Because if I don't select this, I may be submitting my assignment, yes, but to the wrong course, like some of you do, and they come and argue with the lecture. Look, I submitted the work. I submitted and she'll show you a snapshot of her submission. But she sent it. The course is marked, but he sent it to social studies class. Think of it that way. So the course is UGRC 150, but if you go and submit at the assignment tool for information studies, it's equal to no work done. That's why I'm taking you through this. People go through stress, I'm telling you, because of wrong submission. She doesn't even know that that is what she did. So her cons paper was submitted as part of the philosophy paper. 
and a philosophy paper is part of business school because they are all courses he or she is taking. And she's failing all of them because 20 months here gone missing. The lecturer will only see some accounts paper and take it out or score you some zero or one mark for participation. That's all. So when you go to your Sakai, what you do next, you don't remain at the home. You won't find anything for a specific course. You have to go to the specific course. So here we are going to our watch, UGIC 150, 30, first semester, 2022-2023. And when you select that, you see that, look at my screen now. It's highlighted here. That's what now captures your screen in yellow. See this. All the others have are, are closed rooms. Now and this is the room that is opened. It means all that you see displayed on your screen is about this course, UGIC 15030. If I want to see what is going on in my PHCL 201, I will select that. Now everything going on now will be PHCL 201. So you do that for your course here. I pause for a question if there is any. Navigating Sakai, your classroom. Emerald, your hand is still up. Is it the old one, please? Then I lower it for you. Okay. Now, when you enter the course site, which is the specific course, hmm, its site, like this one that I highlighted, the left side of your screen will show you the tools. Tools. <laughs> there are tools on Sakai. So on the tools, you have overview tool, you have syllabus tool. All of you, you may, you may want to unmute and tell me what, what tool is the third one I, I'm highlighting. I want to see if you are following. Announcement. Announcement. Very good. Very good. So you announcement. 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 Hey. Announcement. 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 Yes. You mean so you are far away, Paul? You're not too <laughs> Some of you are far away. You not heard me. Eh? <laughs> okay, so we are now on the announcement too. So if I told you that we have posted an announcement, take note on a change of date for your IA. If you want to confirm that this is where you go to the announcement too, here on this specific call site, not at the home site. But you may not see it at the home site. Mm. So you will come here. Some of you will say, I didn't get the notice in my email. Hey, Auntie Adwa. <laughs> if you don't speak, I, I can or something. I just, I was just uh, feeling it that hey, We want to relax about this. No. It doesn't have to hit your email, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Because sometimes it delays. Sometimes the lecture doesn't prompt your email because he or she is not obliged to. Okay. Just like you check, just like you check, what is happening with these plenty messages? Who is doing this? I'm sorry, please. Someone is sending me 300 messages. <laughs> it's quite noisy. Okay, let me. All right. Uh -huh. So I was just saying that. You don't have to say that you, I didn't see the email. My email has not been activated. So I didn't know that the interim assessment, 30% is slipping down your, your hands like that. And you have such an excuse. No, you wake up in the morning, friends. You go to your course sites, the various courses you do. They are sites and read announcement. That's what you do. If it hits your email, oh, thank God for the prompt. If it doesn't, you too, you are there. You are searching for it, okay? So if you do that, then you are always alert you don't lose out you are not waiting for it on whatsapp platforms because it can change or it could be directed to group two you see then a very caring person copies it and brings it there and you have been misdirected unintentionally though but you have been misdirected so so you go searching for it yourself how do you do it at the announcement too so i just showed you for this specific course apply the same to your other courses it's the same course site okay the overview for us, for our team at UGIC 150, we put our course outline at the overview. So those of you who have not seen the animal called course outline, that is it. It has every information, everything. Everything is there. How you'll be assessed, your tutors, your lecturers, their emails. That's Those are my details. That I, I hope that we can use some five minutes to go through before we end. Okay? How you look at the grade, grading skill. Uh, uh, the, how you'll be assessed, the assessment model and the percentages. 
all these informations are there. In fact, normally we even include the, the 80 to 100 as A, 75 to 79 as B plus, what they mean. Because some people get, a doc, I got 44 over 100. Why am I resetting? I say, hey, sister, if you get 49, Christ, reset. You just didn't know. Oh, but I didn't know. Now, if I divide orange into half, I mean, 49, mean, 49 over 100 means it's almost half. How can you say I've cheated? So you are giving me a research. Yes, that's the University of Ghana grading skill. For the UGRCs, you have to get at least 50. 50 is the worst grade you will get. You see that? People don't know even what I'm saying. So they feel that, oh, we need 30, we need 10, we need 10, we need 10. The boss I have 40. If I get some 30 here, get some 10 here, at, at least 40, I've gone, I've gone ahead. It's a reset. Zero out to 44. You the one who got zero, and the one who got 44. The investor says all of you got F. Father. You see, which is a reset. If you got 39, excuse me, 49, investor says you are all Emmanuel. E for Emmanuel. You write again. That is why I am passionate about those 10 marks, 5 marks, 30 marks, 20 marks that students often ignore, especially at the lower level. They don't see it. They think that the real deal is the exam. Exam for this course is only 50%, which is very big, yes. But if you scored even 50 over 50 in the exam and you didn't take continuous assessment, you didn't take IA, that is D for Daniel, that, that. Very bad pass. Therefore, you want to be minded to take every one of them serious, everything. If you post something at the discussion too, they say go and do it for a five mark or something. Don't say oh, five cry, it's not much. You need it to sail high up there to make your A or B plus that you are looking for, okay? So you know syllabus, that's where the course outline normally should be, but we put it also at o overview so you can see it. And then the announcement too, if we went to announcement too, I'm sure that you would have seen, some of you would have seen the several announcements we have posted. See. Okay, this is an instructor view. That's why you see things the way you are seeing it. Eh? If you are a student, you see that the details, but certain details you will see. You will see what you must see as a student. But I'm showing you Sakai case. So this is the one we just posted moments ago. This one is the level uh, group one interactive session, but it was sent to the group one folks, what we had today, I pulled it out. So it is here. What we I'm having with you on behalf of Dr. Morgan, when I finish with his permission, if he allows it, I'll record it, upload and generate the link for you so he can come and build on it, God willing. Next, we pray for him. Eh? So this is the announcement too, all right. DE makes it even easier for you. You they structure your turn as sessions. So like today's discussion, if you selected here, you see what the aim is that uh, you know, learning outcomes, the slides you should read and all that in sessions all the way to the end. Now after sessions, we have calendar. I'm sure you know what that is. Then the another important tool you must know is what? Resources. Resources, says the English person. <laughs> so we go there. What is the animal called resource? Resource tool. Look inside. And you, your lecture three, see. This lecture three is the slides. Really? Yes, it is there. Since when? 12 January. Look at the date I posted. One small, tiny thing, one megabyte. People don't know that there's anything like this here. Okay? You need 10 slides. Is there the last topic? Is there? See lecture six, unit six. Is there slides? Very light. It's not heavy. There are no videos. So you can at least know that there are two types of a reasoning, deduction, induction, it's just the raw material, you know it, and then you, you are preparing to receive the lecturer or the tutor who come and engage. People don't know. Look at the meeting links. I put it here for you. Look at the date, 13th, not today. Right? Then you need now, and then see where our lecture one is hiding. Lecture one. Dr. Morgan will come and check you too. Okay. There are slides, like notes, but we make it a bit more detailed for the because the textbook in the is finished. <laughs> and people say, please reserve it for me. Hey, but please, can, I said, my friend, I didn't know it's <laughs> It's not, we, we don't have even enough for everyone because you can't tell if to them, but it's not compulsive. So the university produces, according to history, it's very expensive to print. 
That's why it's 50 cities. So the few that were left have been taken. Even the main campus student will beat me up. So we will try to be as elaborate as we can so that you don't feel the need. But you can also ask the, the, those who have done it already for their readers. You can borrow. And then the other one that people don't like to see, you can also steal it. Don't tell anyone I said that. That was just in jest, OK? It's the same content, so you can rely on that. See. The course outline still repeated here. So everything you need in terms of notes, slides, are in your slide. Yeah. So that is the resource. Okay. Any questions before we continue? Mr. Yusuf, go ahead, sir. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. I want to mute all. Let me mute all them so you see if you can unmute. Someone's background is very noisy. So, Mr. Yusuf, uh, uh, what's the surname? Mana, I can't see all of your name, but it starts with Mana. So, Mr. Yusuf, please unmute and ask your question. Okay, his hand is down now. Godwin, ask your question quickly, please. Godwin's hand also went down. Madam. Mr. Yusuf, yes, sir. Go ahead. Please go ahead, sir. You are muted. You are muted. I think it's better now. Go ahead. I'm not seeing. Hello, you see. I'm seeing. I think it's better now. Go ahead. Hello, you see. I'm seeing. Hello. Yes, sir. Please, I'm listening. Now. go ahead. Hey. Please go ahead, eh? Okay, let's take Bernard. Bernard, can you hear me, please? Yes, I can hear you. Please can go you hear ahead. Me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? So I can. Uh, with the core subjects, with the core subjects, I can only see like two on the Sakai, but with the psychology, I can't see on the like on the website. Okay, so those are registration matters. You would want to address it to, not to a lecture. I'm a lecturer. So I don't do office, okay. do, uh, but you should go to your college academic office. Or if they uh, give you I, an email for that effect, address it to them. They will work on it. OK. Can you repeat that, please? I didn't report. hear you. OK, so those uh, matters of registration, I can't see the cycle. I did, all those ones are not lecture. That, that is a okay. senior member's work. It's a, it's a okay. senior staff or a staff's work. They are not the same, okay? So people, some people administer and others teach. I am a teacher, I teach, teach, okay? That. But I can I can direct you because I understand the system. So take it to your college academic officer. When you go to okay. your college, uh -huh, ask for the college academic office. They will even direct you, then tell them this is a challenge you have. Maybe you haven't done some registration properly or they are, waiting to migrate you on to something you know but so far as there are people in the classroom now virtual room now it, it it means that something perhaps perhaps may not have been done right so that you'll be assisted uh, it's not anything strange yes, so don't let it overwhelm okay sure all right thank you you welcome sir let's take francisco out quickly francis go ahead good evening madam good afternoon sir good afternoon madam like um on the resource, I can see uh, the slides. Yes, please. Uh, uh, lecture one, two, and I think three. Yes. Yeah, so that means, uh, does it mean uh, the lecture one is the one you, they had in the morning or? No, please. No, please. I explained that because of the class size, the University of Ghana required courses, UGRCs, are not department courses. Let me mute you. I will, I will, you can unmute you later when I explain it. Someone's background is very nice. So let me mute her and explain to my friend. The question is an important one. I said that our class, UGRC 150, is not a department course. It's not like for psycho people or for cons people or for philosophy people. I'm a philosophy lecturer. No, it is for everybody entering into the university. If you want University of Ghana degree, you for do one. <laughs> That's why it's a university. University of Ghana required course. So the people doing it are all freshers. If you fail it in level 100, you will do it level 200. If you fail it 200, you will do it 300. If you fail it 300, you will do again 400. 
if 400 are still failing, you are not graduating. Maybe all your departmental courses, you've gotten AAA. Only this one, you will stay on till you graduate. Because it's required. We don't want you to go out there. You can't think critically about matters. You can't proffer practical solutions to matters. But you know all the stuff. So the investor says, at least get a pass. A pass means you may not be the greatest critical mind. No problem. But Kakrai didn't even know Small one that you can use to check your how far. You have to get it. That's why the investor says you must get at least a D. E can pass for some other courses, which are not compulsory courses like this one. Some, some departments, departmental courses. E is a pass. It's a very weak pass. You can choose not to reset it. Okay. But not for UGRCs. Okay, so now to bring it directly to the question you asked, because of that, the numbers that do UGRs is not only this one, academic writing too is the same. And I think African studies, they are generic for everyone. You, you can harbor as much as 3,000 plus students. Main campus, we are, at, we are targeting 6,000, just like last semester. So which classroom will you put all the 6,000 students? That is the reason why it is cold thought. It's a team of lecturers that always teach it. And for DE, distance education, these three colleagues decided to assist the tutors that DE has to give you very good content. Okay. And because there are several hands teaching it, given the numbers, we, we divide you into groups. Now, we don't want to impose that. In the past, we would have just created the groups and told you, you are in this group if you don't like go, <laughs> you know, kind of. But it doesn't help much because, because of the various classes, different uh, departments, different colleges. It's only fair that you give them options and then give a period for people to look at their timetable schedules within their department, within their colleges, and then find free spaces where they can come and do their UGRC without too many clashes. If you understood me up to this point, then you'll see why we have given you five. It was really difficult. It's, you can see it's very difficult, but we, we try to give and spread it out. So there's eight to 10 slots. There is 10.30 to 12.30 slots. There is today's 3.30 to 5.30 slot. Tomorrow there will be another 3.30 to 5.30 on a Sunday, all in the bid to give students opportunities. So if there is a clash with the 8.30 time, then you can choose the 3.31. Or if that one doesn't help, you may consider the 10.30. So these are different classes. The same course, but the group we target are different. This is, we deliver the same content as much as possible, guided by the course outlook. Okay, so group one met at eight to ten, and we complete. We discussed introductions, Sakai, like I'm doing with you. Took questions that they had to help them sit into the course very well, like an orientation of a kind. Introduce them to critical thinking. Give some few examples here and there. We ended. We will engage topic one proper next week. Topic two, we'll start it next week and maybe build on it the subsequent week. Okay. The same with group two, whose class was 10.30 to 12.30. And now we are meeting group three, virtually starting everything again. So that is the answer. So next week's class for you will still be this time. And we'll, go and con we'll come and continue. Of course, you will continue with Dr. Morgan. I can't do this time next week. It is not feasible for me. So hopefully Dr. Morgan will be fine. Then he will continue with where uh, with whatever uh, uh, from wherever we got i don't know if that is okay my friend my friend are you okay the gentleman who has the question yes if, please I'm okay now. Uh, very good let's take uh, i don't know if it's joy then after that i can take a uh, comfort Okay, so um, can I ask my question now? Please go ahead, sir. Okay, um, it's not actually about the Sakai thing because I understand that one. I no actually problem. chose um, academic. I, I chose a, knowing knowing that the um, critical thinking is something very compulsory to the freshers. I just like I changed it on the website and it hasn't reflected it. So I want to know if I can make that changes properly. Okay, so or something. so uh, units determine 
when they want to take the UGRCs because it, come at, it comes at a cost sometimes. When I say at a cost, the arrangement. City campus, for example, I can use that to explain because I'm also the coordinator, so I know something. The city campus team wouldn't do critical thinking in the first semester. It's not about the student. The, the administration, they schedule their critical thinking for second semester. Then they schedule the ACA writing for first semester. So if you want to do ACA writing in the second semester, you won't be able to do it if you are a city campus signed up student. DE has its own arrangement too. So it's possible that it's not so much about you wanting to choose or not to choose. It is because perhaps, I'm saying perhaps, so that you go check it with your academic uh, office. Perhaps they, or, they set up critical or, thinking for the first semester. Uh -huh. So that the second semester, they okay. can make room for some other things. So check with them. Okay, so although I have the ACA writing like, on my, my info, I'm still like supposed to do the critical So thinking. check with them. You check, check with okay. them because sometimes you will register for ACA writing and then next semester, when they bring uh, the ACA writing, you won't be able to take it because of how the arrangement is. Then now it is taking you to your second year. When you are in level 200, then you will be dreaming about making up your level 100 compulsory requirement that you didn't take because you didn't understand that okay. GE doesn't. Do. Main campus is straightforward. Main campus, we do it every semester. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. but DE, uh, the paid, if you like, DE and, and city campus, even College of Health Science, they do both in the first semester. That is how they do. So they do both ACA writing and critical thinking, as far as I know, in the first semester. Why? Because they have other college requirement that will, will, will overbloat the accredited hours per semester if they shift it to second semester. You see that? So if you went to your college academic office and explained to them that I wanted to do this, but it looks like they are giving me this, they might tell you, you can't do it. It's there. It's just there uh, as design. We, they are here. They have to do this and clear it off before you take the other one. Then you are clearing your mind. Okay. Thank you. Let's take comfort now. Okay, Madam, good afternoon. That Please, too, with the explanation he gave earlier on, with the explanation yeah. he gave earlier on regarding the slides, if I found myself in group three, will I have to yes. download the slides for lecture three? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, so for slides, if I went back there, you will see that because the team teaching, we understand ourselves, we're a team of uh, colleagues in the same department. It's not like colleagues from somewhere, we don't know each other. So the slides, they are for everyone at the resource too. Okay, but when we engage you directly like this, like if Dr. Morgan engages you, he might do the discussion on the substantive content proper from his slides. Okay, and so when he finishes and there's a recording like what we are doing now, currently our class is being recorded. If it was a lecture and I'm using my examples and stuff like that to teach, perhaps if I finish, I would want to record it like we are doing, pull it out and share with the class that engage, we engage together for your own reference. If I do that, I'll share it, but I'll share it to this class, not to everyone, because the other groups also have their own. But it's not a requirement, really. So I go through and then we engage like this when I finish, I'm done. If you want a reference point, that's why the slides are there. That's why the test is there. Okay. So, for slides, so for slides, they are shared in the, in the resource too. Uh, DU requires that we put all of them there for you from start to finish. They, 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 they arrange with us to do that so that there is always content for you. Don't become too stranded. Go if someone is at Tamale and he's even supposed to come and get a test book. Look at the stress that will be. See that. So you give them the basic uh, elaborated content so that they can assess that whilst you come and teach. That's the plan. So that one is there. Whatever else that will come, like the one I've shared with group one was our discussion, like what I'm having with you. I'll put it there. So if you have friends in group one, I want to say, okay, let's see. Otherwise, we'll be posting three different group one, uh, friends, uh, topic one videos on the main course site. That can be a nuisance to you. When, when I finish, I come and post what I discussed with group one to everyone. When I finish group two, I come and share to everyone. Still on topic one. When Dr. Morgan finishes, he comes to share with everyone. When Mr. Okansi finishes tomorrow, he comes to share with everyone. And my second group 
or uh, Sunday, I come and share that one. Hey, then topic one alone, you have five videos of interaction for just topic one. You have 10 topics. That's 50, 50 videos. Each video will be about two hours, one and a half, two hours. <laughs> you see? So we can't, we won't treat you fairly if we did that. That's why, as for the slides, they are there for everyone. But the interactive sessions we have like this, if we want to further record it, then it goes to the specific group. But it is accessible to everyone. You can always ask the lecture, Doc, please, can I have the group three? I'm the coordinator as well. I've said it three times already. I try to be as responsive as I can. Oh, please, I want Dr. Morgan's uh, group four, interact, uh, topic four interactive session. I could pull it from that group for you if you, if you sent me an email, or I could tell the, the uh, uh, one tutor that please, the, the people want uh, Ms. Okansi's topic one interactive session. Can you pull it from group four for us? And it to be shared to you particularly. It's not everybody that wants. Otherwise, we'll have 50 videos, two hours each. I did the crowd here at the Kokan. Sister, so I don't know if I've answered it, Lady Comfort. And take comfort. Are you answered, please? Yes, thank you. Most welcome. Thank you. So we we'll take two more, then we we'll make some progress. I've seen that. Emerald, is there another question? If it's another Hello, question, dog. then yes, sir. Uh, I see I'll, 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 no, please. No I'll, I'll, um, I had I had a um, light out, so I think I joined. Don't worry, it, so it's normal. Don't honest, worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Honest lighting. So I don't know. Can I? Can I send you an email to get your interactive section? Well, I could share it. I could share it with. If you have a class rep, the class rep scrap can do that easily. Because when we generate the link, we'll give it to the rep to put on the WhatsApp platforms there. It's the same student that complain. Nanka Media, Sherry, they are all uploaded onto my YouTube channel. So if you have the link okay. and you are subscribed, as soon as I upload anybody's upload at all, you get a prompt and check. But we don't want to be counting you know your your satire with so many videos so many interactive sessions so so many of them on the same topic okay so you can always ask for any link mine dr morgan's mr okansis on any topic even the previous years homes they are out there the main campuses, oh, the, campus, the content is the same the elaborations okay. are elicited by a class so if the class is very active sometimes they make you say a lot that you benefit if it's a boring quiet you know, brother and uh, the brother that don't, don't, don't have vibe, you know, some brothers when you go out to there is boring, so, uh, eh? they will say anything, they don't know how to chat. <laughs> we all sit down, then when the, the time is up, I uh, fear, then we go, you know. So if it's that type too, then we record and give you. So boss, if you need to send an email, I'll generate them for you, anybody. The only thing is that if it, if it's everybody's asking for it one one, it can be very stressful. So if you work it with your, group, I don't know how you want to call it, group rep or something. Then when he collects, he shares with 500 of you. Let's work. Then one person after the other asking the coordinator, I want the link for this, I want the link for this. I hope you get it. So you can work around that and let us know. Maybe I could be smart. No question, please. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, join your uh, and it's of uh, this thing because, because of um can you put me on maybe between the sessions because this is session to say wolf and this it's it's quite unfortunate when you are speaking i can't hear i don't know if you you are experiencing the same from my end do you hear me clearly Hello. yes please. okay then then please speak Hello. out just a little bit louder okay and be stable if you're moving around can you this, be just a little stable uh -huh. go ahead please can you hear me now yes sir yes it's very clear now yeah yeah i said the difference between the sessions because i can find uh see section one to section 12 and the slides yes. so which one should i download is it the slides or the sessions the slides are incorporated in the session a session just describes what we are having now we are having a session and whilst we okay. are having it, we will be working with slides. Slides are notes, notes captured in PowerPoint and saved for you. Okay. So when you go into the resource tool, you see the notes posted there. 
when you click on session, it tells you that if we meet as a lecture or lecture one, this is what we will do. So inside the session, if you click it, you see what the aims are, what have you, then down there, they'll okay. tell you your slides have been put here. If you want to pull down your slides and keep them in your pocket, then you pull it down. So it's the same thing. It is that when they describe it as a session, they are describing the whole thing you are doing, what you are doing. It's a lecture period. So this is one session. Next week will be another session. And when we say slides, then we are talking about the notes that are posted there for you. When you open, you get content. Like what I projected earlier, that you came to see, topic uh, one. Uh -huh. that those are slides, notes. That's all. That's the difference. Right. Notes that you would have written on the board. We have put them all together into slides for you and captured into session one, which is lecture one, session two, which is lecture two in that order. I hope it helps. All right. Great. Let's yes, take a, you. you are welcome. Is it Opoku de Graft? Go ahead. The, the, the person with the ID, I'm sorry, it's Joseph, eh? Conceal your ID, eh? Those who, are, who like numerology will calculate your ID <laughs> and tell you you're, you are a moon and a water element. Take it off, okay? Let's take Opoku de Graft after, afterwards, we'll take just five. Unless Opoku has spoken. Then we can move on. Opoku, have you spoken, please? No. No. Yes, please. No. Opoku, no. we are talking, but it's a bit faint. Are you using an earpiece? It's quite faint. I can't hear you, please. If you could use something that is loud or you could increase the volume on your gadget then we will all hear you i can't hear you Hello, Madam. yes i hear you from afar off. i don't know if others can hear you then go ahead someone can pass it on to me please go ahead A shame. If someone can hear him, tell, actually, eh, listen to him and tell me. Eh, I hear that. Why is it that on Sakai something? But the rest, I can't hear at all. If anyone can there's hear him, no please. Timetable. There's no timetable. Just on you said there is no timetable. Okay, I hear something about there is no timetable on Sakai. Is that what he's asking, please? Yes, please. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there is. There is. That's what people have signed for. So let's go and see together. Okay. So at Sakai, and the notice told you to, to see it. On Sakai, this is the resource tool. I think that people know the resource tool now. So we move on to site info. Please listen. Okay. Say, listen. Site info. Why site info? Because I've communicated to you. Okay. On the site that go there and sign up for a group. How did I communicate two announcements and copied your emails, okay? When you go to site, let me view as a student so that you will see it the way you will see. This is site info. If you go to your Sakai, even as a student, and you scroll all the way down to site info, which is highlighted now, this is what will show. What shows here tells you groups you can join, okay, Brian. So you select groups you can join. Voila. Okay. So look at the times. For the reasons I have enumerated already, we won't give, we won't come and say that critical thinking is conducted or is the session for critical thinking is held on Saturdays, 3:30 to 5:30. Finished. Everybody come. What if at this time a comes people are meeting, or uh, info studies people to also meet you? You, they shouldn't learn because you are doing critical thinking. They shouldn't learn the other courses. Okay, so we have given you five options of time. That's the timetable. Saturday, 3.30 to 5.30 is one of them. And it is on the notice board that your unit has shared. I, call, I, I asked for the main notice board, the timetable schedule. So I have it. I have the main time, timetable schedule. These are on it. Watch. 3.30 to 5.30 on a Saturday is one of them. The next one is Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. is another. Mm. And they all come with the lecturer's name, the group number, the day, and the time. 
So if you look through these and you think that, oh, I'm a church person or I'm, I'm a, whatever, I do weddings a lot. I'm an usher at church, I'll go and clean up for tomorrow. So 3.30s don't work for me. So I would like an earlier time. We gave you 10.30 to 12.30, 8 to 10 Zoom. But if you had a churchy, you know, Saturday, whatever, you know, wedding, funeral, this organizer, then we gave you a Sunday as well. This one is a Sunday after church, you know, relaxation. They come and do critical thinking. The one that you prefer, you select. So suppose you want group two, you click on join and you are in that group. You attend lectures for that. Boss, I sorted. So it's there. Someone will say, hey, but how would we have known that? It's there? No, it's not good. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's take uh, Joseph. I'll take Joseph now and then we, we will move a little number. Everyone muted now. Now take uh, Joseph. The graph is answered, so I think we'll lower you. Please, when you get answered, then you lower your hand here. Kenneth's hand just shut up. Hey, so you had all these questions on you. Joseph, go ahead. I'll take Kenneth afterwards and Luis. And then as to say, then we will pause, go back to Asakai navigation, go to the course outline list and come for Francisca and the others. Quick, 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 quick. Joseph, Joseph, please go ahead. Hello, Doc. Oh, it's just please. I think oh, it's just yes, oh, yes, please. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Please, my questions, there are two. I have two questions. Yes. Don't worry. So I went to on the on the main on the um, Deligon Center on the notice board, um witness and level three hundred. Our critical thinking is supposed to be five thirty PM to seven thirty PM. But where, looking where at the question? Ah, okay, continue. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so, um, looking at the, we we saw some links that was sent, it to our emails, and the where last did you see session. The, I'm sorry, I will have to interrupt now. Forgive me. Where Where did you see? Okay. The, the, the time you have mentioned right now. On the notice board at the Kofoedra Learning Center. <laughs> oh, sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't control it. My sister, please go for it. I okay. won't give us timetable. Why? So don't worry. Okay. So what happened? The, the ones we've advertised so far, none of them helps you eh? and go for their squad. Oh, for for the our problem is some of our courses, um we've not been given some of our courses and the times. So don't we worry. don't know so now, which one to worry. join now. Don't worry. So for now, at least now that you don't know okay. the address, what you know so far, mm -hmm. it doesn't clash with. I mean, you're able to get a time to study from the options, right? Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, if it happens that all your courses are out, in some way, somehow, okay. magically, all the five we have advertised clash, let me know. I'll create one more for you. Okay. Just for COVID. Okay. And why? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> the second question is, um, if I'm to join, like right now, I'm with the um this time the three thirty to five thirty yes, p.m. Yes, group three. Okay, so now I'm with group three. If it happens that maybe one of my other courses clashes with this one, can I change it? Very different. It, it oh, okay. All right. Let me explain. If at that time. I have, you should have sent mm -hmm. a notice that I will lock the joining and unjoining after the close of this week. It is for your sake. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So your 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 presence, baby, you will be in a certain group and you will be there. Okay. The reason why I have to be okay. there is you can't be on two sides. Otherwise, the system will reject you when it's time to write the exam. They will say you are cheating. You can't be in two rooms okay. at the exam time. Uh -huh. So we'll keep oh, you there. Okay. And you can shift to, that's why I shared all the three links. On all okay. the, of the main sites, uh -huh. because even if it is not because of a clash, you may have a wedding. If you are being married on a Saturday morning, who cares about critical mm. thinking? Let alone practical <laughs> reason. If it's my wedding day, what me ask? So okay. if I sign for yeah. eight to ten, and it's my wedding day, uh, pardon my French, uh, damn the critical thinking for that day. <laughs> but I could come <laughs> the next day, Sunday after church, and join the afternoon session to make up. For what I lost, you see. So there are reasons why the links are accessible to me. We are not that restrictive by force. I mean, the team 
works fine. We, we don't want to say you must be in my group. Our assessment will be done across board. It won't be a group one assessment in the, not group two assessment. Okay. No. And we have to be able to establish continuity. After this mm. session, if I'm continuing, I'll build on from where I got to, you see. And then, so so if you were in this group, met was with you, that's why you have to have a certain level of continuity. A continuity and consistency. That's all. It won't go against you at all. Not for this course. I don't know about this. Okay. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Then now we can take the two left. I mentioned Louis and I think I mentioned Kenneth. Louis, go ahead. Okay, so Louis is sorted. Let's take Kenneth. Kuonu. Kenneth. Okay, maybe Kenneth is not ready. So we'll take Ernest Osei and then afterwards Francis Kwao. Ernest. Hello, madam. Yes, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. Yes. yes. My issue right now is I, I can't assess my Sakai with my okay. ID and my anything. When we finish the class, Send me an email. Yeah. I'll ask you some questions. I want to sign it, sign in as if I were you. Then I'll see what I see okay. there and be able to advise you properly. Okay. It might not, it might be that it's not Sakai, it's Sakai issue. It might just be a certain issue. But it could also be that oh, Sakai oh. people are still setting you up for D. And either way, it's not anything that you should be too stressed about. By next week, all those things will be sorted, I believe. Okay. okay. So you send me an email after. My email is on the course outline. I'll show you where it is. Okay. Okay. I won't tell you directly. Look for it on the course outline. Okay. Francis Kwao. Thank you so Please, much. Please, I'm sure that Francis can now unmute and ask his question. Thank you, Ernest. Francis, go ahead. Oh, Ernest, you're not done here. Okay. Hey, you're not done, okay, then start. Please, um, Mark, my question is, uh, if I'm not able to join the first class and I want to join the second one, is it the same thing that the lecturer is going to teach all? Yes, my answer has been yes, yes. It's the same content. Obviously, Agbamami's Banku may not necessarily be exactly the same as uh, some other, uh, maybe, uh, what's the other one's name? Uh, Mawuli Banku. But the okay. essence so, of it is the same. Uh -huh. It won't be different. So, so, so we are please, guided by the course outline. Yeah. Okay. So please, like the way. Uh, Today's group is, and then tomorrow too, they will have some lectures again. Um, like uh, what you you are teaching today, that's the same thing they will teach tomorrow too. Or? Yes, today is introduction. I'm introducing you to the course. I'm helping you see how to settle in, especially with the Sakai, navigating Sakai. Then we'll walk ourselves through the course outline a little and know what Chris Carr thinking is about. But that's what I did with both two groups. That's what Dr. Morgan would have done with you. Okay. Okay. Because if I told you that I have posted and I go and join something on site info, and you don't know site info, how would you even be in the group to see the, the information I put there for you? Okay, so the introductory sessions are for what we are doing. That's how it will be. It won't change. Okay, okay. Right. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, still up here. Francisca, I'll get you, eh? I've, I've not left you out. Let me take Augustina quickly. Quick, 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 people. Please, okay? Okay, on mute first. I can't hear you. Please, how was it? Which one is the username? Oh, okay, sorry. Your username is this, your ID, your student ID. So one, uh, one, zero, nine, four. So one. Um, then your password is the PIN. Look on your admission letter, they are there. The PIN, the PIN, personal identification number. That is your password. Then your username is your ID, student ID. 10946672. Yes. Uh -huh. When you do that, you, you hit the enter, you will get it. Okay, thank you. Welcome, my dear. Let's take Francisca now, please. Please lower your hands for me if you are done. Do not have any question. Let your hand go down. Select the same place. Your hand will go down. And I'll see the view left. And then we can finish up quickly. Francisca, please, if, if you have a question, go ahead. 
Okay, thank you, madam. You're madam, welcome. please, I wanted to know if the critical thinking is always going to be online session. Yes, it's online throughout. If you pass it, you are done. You won't do it again for first semester. Yeah, we. It will, if okay, you pass it now, that's it. It's not a course you do the whole year through, no. It's not like your info studies or your UGBS or your adult education, no. This one. No sleep. Yes, you do it, you get straight A, Adam. They say thank you very much for your effort. Bye bye. There you go. You won't come back to us. If you see me in town, you wave at me and go. Then go and use what you've learned in your other discipline. That's all. Okay, thank so you. Very much. Welcome. Let's take Frank. Francisca, lower your hand, please. Let's take Frank. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, Hello. sir. Go yes, ahead, sir. Okay. I can hear uh, you clearly. Please, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, please, I want to make a suggestion. And the suggestion I want to make will help all of us. I think that once this group is for critical thinking, then the group administrators must be able to work hand in hand with the lecturers so that they can be able to provide us the right information on this group. And if any other person wants to post anything, I think that it will be advisable that they seek permission from the group admin. Because at times you go on the group, you realize people are posting so many things and things that does not even uh, concern critical thinking. Other courses, they will be posting it on critical thinking. Uh, Confusing uh, everyone. You know, <laughs> uh, the group. Yes, and then Confusing they everyone. find one, uh, yes, and then they find one uh, uh, link from somewhere, then they share it. So you realize that people <laughs> will just be following the wrong and you may not know which one is the right information. Exactly. And when it happens exactly. like that, it, it makes everything, it makes everything uh, nyama. Nyama. You see, uh, nyama. Uh, uh, nyama. It, doesn't, it doesn't really make, it doesn't really, uh, make us to uh, get, like, doesn't even, it doesn't help yeah, yeah, us yeah, yeah. to... Uh, Progress, yeah. positive and, progress. And don't get yourself I worked up. I share, I share your concern. I share your concern 100 percent okay, That's so, one of the so reasons what, why. What I'm saying is that uh, so what I'm saying is that the group, the group admin uh, the admins should be able to be a bit, you know, tough and put their feet on the ground so that the right information are being shared. Because if, assuming you open your WhatsApp and then you have over 400 to 500, like the way you when you started, somebody was sending 300, almost 300 uh, uh, is, is something something to you? You'd be sure. so you I, would, I could show WhatsApp my phone to you right now. Uh huh. Yeah, so as you open yeah. your phone, yes, you open your phone and people have sent almost get it to thousand um, uh, messages. <laughs> you wouldn't know which one is the right information <laughs> and which one is not the right information. You may scroll. Thank you, Frank. You let me intervene like now. I think your point is made. Don't uh, worry. Let me let me even emphasize yeah. something. So first of all, thank you so much. So so the point is. This is not even a group on WhatsApp. So uh, I think your friend is advocating for, if you were to create a group for yourself, someone coordinates that, and then you create a group. And I'll show you how you can find yourselves and create a group via email. That group, whoever administers that, maybe it's a Telegram platform, it's a WhatsApp, I don't know. In the past, you can ask the, your predecessor. I used to be on student platforms. The lecture will be there. All my classes are big, not for you, GRC alone. Philosophical questions, you have 1,800 students on one platform there responding to queries. As late as 12 midnight, I'll be there. Because during the COVID especially, people were a little stressed out. So one message out there telling them, don't worry, we'll reopen the assessment that, uh, you know, because of the difficulty with the internet, some people couldn't get it done. God, we're working off-site under the lockdown. So just one message can calm over thousand students down because people's BP, BPs are rising. So it helps, but students abuse that, generally speaking. So I stopped because you can't be on a platform that is locked. You are not, excuse me, you are not ship <laughs> in a ship, even is a pen or something. No, we have to interact, but it has to be done with decorum. People come and sell things. People come and show their picture because they want to be, hey, my brother, I So I stopped. I stopped. So what your friend is advocating for, it's not even for the Sakai platform. After the Sakai platform, you make a mistake and send a message there without permission. You will not do the course again. This course, if you don't pass, you won't graduate. Me, I don't entertain that anyone. I will write to you and copy your HOD and take you off. You can't do the course. 
because we want to be decorous. If you post something on these platforms that by the grace of God we man, like the main campus, you at uh, you know you get to six thousand people at once. So some people use that to exploit people because the Sakai channel is an official site. So if he or she sends an email to that, he will reach six thousand people. Some of them not no, suspecting not. anything. Uh huh. And then you are selling your wig. Who says we are interested in buying a wig? Be, be creative. Look for a better means of doing that, not the official side. So that's what your friend is saying. Just so that you are able to manage your WhatsApp platform that you may create. So he's advocating for that. Those who manage themselves well sometimes get me back there. And you receive first-hand information. Straightforward, then we are there. Even Telegram platforms. You see that? 10,000 students, they just receive them notice and they are calm. Don't worry, we will cancel this one and reopen another one. You are calm, you are not worried because you heard it directly from the lecture. But if it's abusive and you are sending things and people are, oh, come on for dead and things like that, you won't see me there. So that is Frank's intervention for your own staff, just in case you created a platform. Because I think I want to take one more. Bear with me, then we will work, work ourselves through a bit and see if we can mop up again. Okay, who haven't I called? Who has been there for long? Thank you, Frank. Let's take. Uh... Yes, yes. Okay. Let me hear my friend who just spoke. Go ahead. Francis is here. Francis, go ahead. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Please, uh, I, I joined a bit late due to one yes. or two reasons. No problem. Uh, please, I want to ask whether I'll be privileged enough to be able on how to go about the assignments and um, quizzes. You haven't lost much because, don't worry, you haven't lost much. We are on Sakai, we are learning how to navigate Sakai, okay? So that you will know some so much first and foremost, and then from there you can you can address content. So the content will be delivered through Sakai. So we were here at Fight Info. You will join and know your, the group that you are in. If you went to see, we have seen overview too. We have seen syllabus. We have seen announcement too. We know what the sessions are for lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, blah, blah, blah. Lessons and calendar are not too, I mean, calendar, you know what the calendar is for. We know the resource too. Now, to assess you, we use the discussion tool, the assignment tool, and the test and quizzes tool. Take note. Discussion tool, okay. assignment tool, and test and quizzes tool. These three tools. Look at how they are. Test and quizzes tool is a timed assessment tool. When you are working at test and quizzes, you will be timed. Timed down. So, so maybe 30 minutes for a 30 uh, point question. Okay. So maybe you have one minute per question and stuff like that. People don't know. If you save the work there, you are finished. So you, you don't do that. If you are timed out and you didn't submit, for my assessments, I don't let it do auto-submit. Sometimes I try to, but some student complain that I didn't say I want to submit it. I'm not done. Auto-submit means if the time is up, the system sends the work for you. If you want it to send, submit it so that you don't say that I didn't finish. It was my internet that the, the, as soon as I had internet trip, the work submitted by itself, okay? All the points I'm making is test and quizzes is a timed assessment tool. Right? If you are giving any assessment at test and quizzes, it means you must know that as soon as you, you open the assessment, your time starts. Discussion tool, okay. still an assessment tool. In other words, we measure you there, we test you there. But the discussion tool is such that people are other people are able to contribute to one main broad discussion. So maybe if I said uh, examine why we say confirmation is not proof. Your response should not be more than 50 words. And it is at the discussion too. It means we are discussing. This one speaks, then this one also speaks. When you want to know what the other person said, you must say something yourself. So if you contribute and post, as soon as you post, you'll be able to read other people's posts. If you haven't contributed, then you will not see the submissions by others, so to speak, generally speaking, okay? So that is how you are rewarded. Some of the times, at like discussion tool, it's not so much whether you know it or you don't know. It is the training. We want you to know how to talk at parliament. 
if you go to UN, yeah. whatever, to represent you, to say some, something inspiring, Kasabi. There are people you never see them at parliament, unless we are <laughs> <laughs> going to say, yeah, 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 there is no, 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 no. yeah, yeah. Just you to say some, maybe even it move for the close of the meeting. You should say, I second it. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, it is important that you, 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 you project yourself, of course, positively. So we want that, sometimes that skill we are trained. People shouldn't be timid. Why? So you go and do that, you contribute, you read, then you get your mark. There are people who never visit the site. I'm telling you, and the system will show you. When you go there, on bar or that, he wants 80% to get an A, Adam. Nala, father is knocking. Father, Imano, father, Imano. They are knocking on your door. You have to act on the site. Honestly. Then the third one is assignment two. That one is a bit relaxed. It allows you to go in and come. So if you have an essay, maybe you have one week, you can research a little, write a paragraph, then you save it as a draft. If you save as a draft, it hasn't gone to the lecture, it is in your drawer. You can always come back and continue, edit, delete, change, until you are all ready to submit. Then you hit your submit tab and then it goes. So that one is normally not timed. You have say one week, sometimes three days, sometimes you have a period, okay? So those are the way these three assessment tools operate. Then the grade book records your marks and so far. And then chat room is for you people to chat amongst yourself like we do on WhatsApp. And then the email tool. So let me show you the email tool too. Hey, you people have received information from my home <laughs> At the email to where you click this page. Oh, don't worry, crap. That's what we are here for. I'm viewing as a, as a student, you see. So I'm seeing okay. it the way you see it. If you want to send an okay. email, brothers and sisters in the Lord, listen to what the spirit is saying. People go and send an email and they send to everybody on the site. Your personal information, maybe you say, dog, please. I have gotten another Imano, and I don't understand why. Can you look at my essay again for me? You are sending it to the lecturer, but you yourself have gone to post it to the whole site. Your chachiko has seen that you got Iman. I'm not the one who did it. You did. E for Imano. You announced it. Why? Because of how you sent your email. Very important. So look, if you want to send an email, at the two, this is what you see. Here, what I've highlighted is roles. Under roles, you see instructor, student, teaching assistant, tutor. If you select instructor, see how many instructors are on the site. Plenty. Even I'm one. Because I'm the one working, I'm, I'm being projected as a student. All these people are instructors there. So if you want to send a message to a specific instructor, you have to select the instructor tab. Then maybe you wanted to go to Dr. Morgan. Then you select Dr. Morgan's box. And then now you come and type what you are typing. When you finish and you send it down here, send mail, it will go directly to Dr. Morgan. If it is to uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Miles, you send it to Dr. Miles, Nancy Miles, direct, it will go, okay, under instructor. If it is not instructor, but you want it to go to a specific group because the course has, the site has groups there. You may want to send a message to the group. Okay. That one too. What do you do? It's all defined here. This is group one. The 8 to a.m. to 10 a.m. This is group two. This is group three. This is group four, group five, and so on. You will just go there. If it is group one, you want to send a, send a message to you select this. It will go to everyone in group one, mind you. But maybe it's not everyone there. Maybe the class rep in group one whom you know. That way, if you select the group, like I did, you see it opens for you to see all oh, those look at the people in group one. There you go. No, 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 sister of Joyce. Then you select sister of Joyce. Then this message will go to her directly. Okay? Yo. If it is not lecture or groups you are looking for, but you are looking for a particular student, you still go to roles, roles, sorry, but not to instructor, okay? You will go towards students. When you select student, all oh, the student on the side, site will come. You open and then it goes to that particular 
student or group of students that you are sending. That's how you send email. Some of you will come here. <laughs> you see what has happened? When they get to mail, no, then they select all. So he's telling you something private. He himself has shared it to 3,000 people. And he doesn't know how it got out there. It is how he sent it. So if you didn't even know the person's email, you can find it. And I think on that note, I've given you enough to help you for your, your next four years as you excel. Thank you so much. Sister. This is you with us. Now, based on this information, you can go to the course outline and then see what UGRC 150 is. We'll do that in five minutes. I think we have already even touched on most of them. And then we go to, so this is the course outline. See the details again. It's the EGRC 150 critical thinking practical reasoning as a course coordinator, Dr. Nancy Miles Bafford, room 23, philosophy department, office hours 12 to 2, email address Nancy Miles, EGRC 150 at gmail.com. See the instructors, your your tutors to the right, see Peter J, Edwin Ezwa, Pakwiku, et cetera, et cetera. They are all there with their emails for easy access. These are officially assigned tutors. Yo, you go and let someone exploit you. The course description. If I have a very good reader to read the course description, I can take you through the rest easily. Please go ahead, sir. Oh, ma'am. Anybody, let me pause now. If you are very confident about your reading, go ahead. Course description. Yes, thank you. Critical thinking is the careful, deliberate determination of whether we should accept, reject, or suspend judgments about. A lady, remove that. Are you using an earphone or headpiece? Remove it. Okay. Uh -huh. If you remove it, it will come out clearer. You read very fine, but it's a bit faint. Let's try that. Are you there? Please, are you there? Please, can I read? Excellent, read. This background is very fine. The one who just spoke. Please go ahead. Cause the sister. Yeah, ready. Let, let, please, can I ask that the sister who just asked the question read for me? No offense intended. She has a very clear background. Okay. okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Critical thinking is the careful, deliberate determination of whether we should accept reject or suspend judgment about a claim and of the degree of confidence with which to accept or reject it. Critical thinking operates according to rational standard in the beliefs and claims are evaluated by how well they are so supported by reasons. This course will introduce this course will introduce learners to the methods and principles used to distinguish good or correct from bad, incorrect reasoning. The courses will provide concepts and techniques that are required to be employed in critical thoughts and practice within the academic arena and everyday life. It also aims at giving learners these tools to be able to critically analyze and distinguish between various types or because because it's always been in belief. <laughs> okay, so the word is discourse, like dialogue, discussion. Okay, okay. very good. Various types okay, of discourse, discourse, reasoning and belief. That was beautifully done. Well done. What our sister read simply means, if I say I'm doing critical thinking, it simply means I'm being given a training, a skill, of what, a technique of what? Learning how to hold on with my judgment about a matter until I have enough grounds, a justification for accepting that belief, that position, that view. 
I hold on. I have a training in how to think deeply about a matter. Hold on with my judgment until I have enough grounds to accept or reject that claim. It, that is the skill. That training is what critical thinking does. And our course is not just critical thinking, but also what practical reasoning. So when I think deeply about the matter, diagnose it, analyze, evaluate, examine, and come out with a diagnosis, then I proffer solution. I offer options. I try to respond to practical problems of existence, okay? So a critical mind is one that is being trained with skills, techniques, tools, methods, principles, you name it, eh? That help him or her to what? Examine, analyze, evaluate, judge matters before drawing conclusions based on what? Reasoned grounds. I'm saying the same thing. I just said it differently. But you wait to have justification. And we'll look at two main ways of justifying our claims, the deductive way and then the inductive way. That's unit six and seven of your test book, of your slides. Eh? You can ground your claims deductively, or you can also do that inductively. What does that mean? If I told you that in heaven right now, all the angels there are totally naked and yet dressed fully. <laughs> we will see, hey, now get together thinking, maybe I do yes. If I told you that, that, I've seen, I saw a vision of heavenly host, angelic host. I'm a church person, so I like those examples. The angels were all totally naked and yet fully dressed up. What will you say to that? My sister, that can never be true. It can't happen. Don't tell me that, oh, but you haven't been there. You didn't see the vision. I saw it. It is not possible to see some a, a, a being totally naked, total. You don't mean it. Totally naked and yet fully dressed up. It can't happen. This is like the example I put in the slides over there, which says a bachelor that has beaten his wife, what, mercilessly. How can he be a bachelor and yet has beaten his wife mercilessly? That was example one on that slide, uh, your lecture one slide. You will see the examples I gave you for your reflection before we delved into the content. Those who have looked at the slides at all know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, no problem. The young two shall grow right after go and take your lecture one slides and scan through them. Okay, but the point I'm making is if he's a bachelor, he cannot beat his wife for Tom. Because he cannot even have a wife to beat. So if you take all the evidence to court in your portfolio, video, cameras, sound bites, that you are going to prove to them that this boy is a rascal. How he has treated this lady is bad. No problem. But if they ask you, come and witness, and you say, Auntie Judge, I'm the landlady in the house. I saw it gani, 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 gani. I saw what happened. This bachelor standing there, beats this his wife, mercilessly. Look at the way the girl's face is deformed. He has removed all his, his her teeth, changed her mouth, whatever, you yate. But this case will be thrown out of court. Why? I'm explaining critical thinking because the language is problematic. If he's a bachelor, he cannot beat his wife. It is the logic of it, the language of it. By deduction, I can say that this is false. It doesn't mean the guy didn't beat the sister. It doesn't mean the sister hasn't lost her teeth out of that beating. All those are true. So the videos and the cameras and the sound bites are good, but they don't do, my, my American friend, friend will say they don't do nothing. Why? Because if you describe the man as a bachelor, then he cannot beat his wife because a bachelor cannot have a wife. That's the problem, is the by deduction, logical truth, versus empirical truth. You will see all that in your slide one. I'm sure Dr. Morgan will engage you even 
even more on it. So what? So sometimes the point we are making is we, we can arrive at certain conclusions by analysis. If you analyze, <laughs> where you open the discussion out, you can break it down to come to a certain conclusion. If I said politicians are corrupt, I didn't leave anybody out. Look at the language. Any politician is included. So I can have issues with a politician who is sitting next to me at the, at the offender, the studio there on that discussion table. If I said, oh, but politicians, that's how they are. That person sitting next to me would tell my friend, watch what you are saying. Because I said, polit I left nobody out, no politician out. They have all been included in my statement. But if I had said, most politicians are corrupt. Imagine if the friend sitting next to me said, why are you talking about us like, like that? I would tell him, my friend, I said most. I said most, too. why do you want to be part of the most? You can be part of the 10% left. Why are you forcing yourself to be part of what I'm saying by analysis? That is why you shouldn't go saying, as for men, that's how they are. And men, yes, in here, they try to answer. You know, they say some. Does that include your father? Then you are in trouble. Why are you saying that about my father? You said it. Analysis, evaluation, <laughs> examination. Who oh, asked for women? It be so then they. Really? Does that include your mother? See how I said it? Then the guy wants to beat the girl up. But you said it. When you said women are like, like that, did you forget that your mother is a woman? Now, what we are trying to show then is by the language, look down there, cause go. You are able to communicate. You are able to present the reasons why you accept or reject a certain conclusion by the language. That's why you see that your topic one, topic two, topic three, will all be discussing language and its use from interrogative to declarative to imperative, all the relatives you see in unit one, two, the problems or devices we see with language use, ambiguity, equivocation, what have you, you see them somewhere in unit two, then definitions, when you are making meaning, you are trying to make meaning with the use of language, you are defining. If you are a marketer and you are marketing a product, the product you are marketing must be meaningful to the people you are marketing it to. Otherwise, you will not succeed. Evangelism is not a matter of falsehood. If you don't come, you are going to hell. It's not scare, scare tactics, no. If it's inspired by the Holy Spirit, well, yes. But he won't scare you. And can God will program us all to worship him from birth. You are a machine. All you do is worship him. He doesn't want that. He wants people that willingly chose. That's what is <clears throat> a feeling. You know, that's what is pleasing. Not a mechanical worship. So the point I'm making is, your skill of conviction, that your ability to convince is in the way you are arguing. And so there comes the word argue, the positive sense of the word, the technical meaning of the word argue. It's not exchange of words, okay? You see it. That is your, the second part of your unit three that I've walked through with you. In the bid to do what? To see how you present premises, reasons to support a claim. That's what an argument is. Then we are now ready to do our critical analysis, which is what? Checking the connection between the reasons given and the claimed or the conclusion drawn. So I'm saying something and I'm giving reasons why I'm saying what I'm saying. That is when you and I, critical thinkers, our work begin. We look at the connection between the evidence given and the claim or the conclusion drawn. So I said, she's the last person. You should be looking on, your, on the screen now. I'm projecting as I speak. So I say she's the last person who left the room. Therefore, she stole the laptop. What I want to say is that she stole the laptop. What's my reason? Because she was the last person who left the room. Now you and I as critical thinkers, our work begins. Suppose she was the last person who left the room. Cry. So what? On what grounds? Are we obliged to say, therefore, that she stole the laptop necessarily? Not necessarily. If you saw me to be the last person who left, then you the one who saw me. What are you? You're the lastest person who left because you saw me leave, then I'm not the last. 
That's the first critical evaluation uh, analysis how I will do. Two, the owner of the laptop can sell his own laptop. You know, and you don't know people who shot themselves in a car in Ghana here. Renowned people just to show that there's trouble in the nation. Make it people steal their own things because if I have an old laptop and I'm a roommate and we don't want the senior house mistress to come and bother us. If the thing is missing, we'll contribute and buy and give to the person so that there's quiet. So if it is my own, I could I could destroy it or hide it and say it's missing. If I don't find this, I'm going to tell the senior house mistress, so my phone, oh, my phone, oh, my phone, oh, won't you contribute and buy? Then I get a new one. So the owner can steal his own thing in the in the Lord. That is why if I told you that because she's the last person who left the room, therefore she stole the laptop, you don't think, don't deceive yourself into thinking that you have received a justifiable, absolute, 100% ground, you see, for accepting my conclusion. This is an induced conclusion. You understand that in a six and seven. Okay. So by the time you go through the whole course to cause our reasoning, ah, when she entered the room, the light went off. This woman too has come to switch off the light. You know how people say that? Then I can man long to dinner and I wore a bala, a bana, a sister. I saw my care and the day, eh? Some of the other women, a jammy to two man and my dad. Most of that being on some of them. In English now, you people, small tree and guys, but they are stressed there. Fancy and guys. People don't hear any of the English you are saying. If you don't know, let me tell you. They are just managing small, small. So that the lecture will go on. So you do <laughs> you to manage when I speak one tree or one guy. The, the, the funny jokes I put there is that someone will say if you see a black cat before you go and sleep, then you will dream and see ghosts all over the place. Cause and effect reasoning. That's what I'm I'm trying to give you several instances about. You alone, every relationship you enter, three days, the sister doesn't come back. Then you say this thing, I suspect my, my grandmother in the village. Well, maybe the grandmother knows something about it, but maybe not. Most cases, not. Maybe it's the armpit, no? Eh? It's the armpit, maybe. But you, you think it's the grandma. So, how we diagnose causes, that's unit nine. How we ground the cause for certain effects. What is the cause of Ghana's economy that has gone into shambles now? When we are trying to connect a certain antecedent condition to a certain effect. We say it is because of this thing that this has happened. The critical thinker, you and I, we come to check the connection between the so-called effects and the antecedent. It's so important. Some people, some parents may think that the boy is not brilliant at school because he's not reading his homework at home or he's not reading his notes. Maybe not. Maybe you are fighting too much in the house there, you father and mother. You don't know. You are fighting too much. So the boy is holding his book. The book is in front of him. He's reading, but nothing is entering. But he's emotionally stressed. Stressed. In the morning, then you put on pancake, the sister. Then the brother too puts on tie that is, uh, you know, <laughs> suffocating him. And you look fine out there, like the best parent. And you go to PTA, and you are giving all the nice idea. When you come home, you fight and fight and fight and fight. The boy can learn. And you think, you are not giving him peace. If you don't diagnose the cause well, you won't be able to resolve the problem, let alone bring what an effect. So you keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and are begging and are begging and are begging and hip-picking a little and coming back here and there. Meanwhile, you are not cutting down on frivolous expenditure. You may not come out of the situation. Cause and effect reason your unit nine. And then unit 10 will diagnose fallacies, errors in the way we reason. So if you look at what I've done, by the time we go through the whole scheduling down there, you know how to speak well. You got that course objective. The modes of reasoning I showed you, the one that doesn't depend on observation by the language itself, I can tell. You can't say they are all naked in heaven and yet they are all totally covered totally naked and yet fully covered, it can't happen. Sisters know what the yes. last seat. The sisters are the last seat in the church. What have they done? They are totally naked. Hey, what's up? My heart, my heart, what is it? This is the usher to the pastor. What is it? Some ladies, they have come. 
which ladies, those are the bangles. Look, look, those which people, those wearing the suits. Suit sitting where at the bangle. Oh, those wearing the suit, what has happened? They are totally naked. <laughs> totally do you understand total totally naked with people wearing suit that is false you say oh you come and see i don't need to see you the mode of reasoning look i can be in my chair in the office and tell you what you are saying is false so there is one way of deducing a conclusion without even seeing without empirical observation then the other mode of reasoning watch will depend on observation. So as a critical mind, you will learn that. They have to recognize mistakes as the unit 10, fallacies, errors in the way we are reasoning. And so based on that, we'll be able to examine, look at the learning outcomes. That's where we test you, so be minded. You are tested by the outcomes on every course outline. That's what we want you to become, what should come out after you learn. So that is what is examinable, measurable outcomes. Okay. How will we deliver the course in 11 weeks? Watch, this is week one. Those who are asking me, so is the course, look at the course will be delivered online, highlighted. So that question shouldn't have come if people did their homework. But anyway, we learn every day on Sakai. The course instructors will teach blah, 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 PowerPoint videos, but you will have tutors, seven of them who will join the three of us to intersperse our teachers. So this week, week one, lecturers will handle it. That's why I took over from my colleague. Otherwise, a tutor would have taken over, but it's not fair. You have to have a fair introduction from the lecturer. Let's week, God willing, all lecturers will take up their week two with you as well. Then the third week and fourth week, tutors will come. That's what DE wants us to do. Spread them out a bit to help their resource as well. Okay, your resources will be there. Look, look at it, I'm projecting, please. And then we want you to uh, observe all online etiquette. Assessments, I've already told you all this. Week three, you do one assessment. Week five, you do another, totaling 20% for the two. mid sem test with 30%. You will go and sit at the computer labs and do it supervised. So you better learn. That's what I'm um, ins insisting respectfully of your unit. You have to be supervised to do the work. We don't want you sitting somewhere that we don't know how you did the exam or whether you did it yourself or not, okay? So you want to be minded and learn for yourself and end the degree. And the final exam, 50%. All exams will be on the computer. We want you to be there. But if it happens that we will have to use answer booklet too, even the better. We prefer the computer supervised. There's a plagiarism checker in the system. It means copying. If you copy and we catch you, we'll fail you. Ask your predecessors, they will tell you. The textbook, we don't have many now. What we have in stock is almost finished. The school's own is also finished. And this is what I walked you through. So you see that week one, please look on my screen now. Look, week one, you were supposed to do, uh, look at the lessons and the lesson introduction to critical thinking, the review of course outline, some other matters. Week two, still, so, there, look, this is week two. You, we are supposed to do distinguishing types of sentence shape thought, et cetera, et cetera, which your lecturer will come and take you through. This is week three. Definitions, what have you. That is week four, week five in that order. So I've talked about deduction, induction, causal reasoning, talked about um, fallacies, and that will be the end of the course if we went through it fully. Any quiz on? Any questions? Let's take them. Yeah. Uh, yes, to Sorry, please. Sorry, please. Okay, let me take Rashida. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, madam, please. I wanted to ask that if I'm going to stand into Sakai, is it only for level 100 students that I will join or the level 300 or continue students to go to be tried? You will, you will have your courses there on Sakai. So if you register for the courses, the Sakai system will pull the registration from the ITS onto Sakai. So if you're a level 100 student, you see level 100 courses. If you're level 200, you see level 200 courses. Because that is what you will be able to register for anyway. 
Okay. I've done the online registration. Yeah, for which level? Online for which level? Uh, level 100. When level did you 100. do it? I, mean, I did it online, but it's level the manuals. And they're telling Wait, us when, when, when did the you do that? Don't, don't worry. When did you do the registration online? Uh, the registration is uh, somewhere last week. Where did it for me? It, if it was successful, it should be there by now. Yeah, it's a sex for everything. They said you should do manual registration again. You see the courses on Sakai, please. No, I've not done the Sakai yet. I just had a thing, so I had to you join this group before I go to Sakai. You don't do anything. I like you don't do anything on Sakai. If your registration is properly done in the ITS, it will show on Sakai. It's automatic. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you are not sure, right after the class, send me an email. I've told quite a number of you today, so I will commit some few minutes after to check my email and then look out for if you send me your email having your id and those things normally i don't like taking it because it's private it's like your password or your pin to access your atm but if you are that stressed we can take the risk together then i'll look at it for you and see whether you are not on sakai or that your registration has not been properly done if people do it for you, don't come confidently saying I've registered, but I don't see sometimes the registration wasn't successful. Okay, so we can only know if we investigate it. Or better still, you can go to your college academic office. Sometimes it's a bit stressful for them too because of the numbers. If students will just do the right. So let, send me an email afterwards. I can look at it for you and advise you properly. Okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Welcome. Mary, Nadu, please go ahead. <laughs> Mary, you are yeah, muted. No. So if you will unmute quickly, quickly, pa, there are 18 hands up. So let's hurry, okay? But I can take most of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. please, am I? Um, level three and Yes. Please. So I must go past to physical thinking. Yes, if you haven't taken it, then you have to take it before. So, okay. so it's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You just guys. pray that it doesn't clash with your other courses, especially the eyes and the final exam, but it is a requirement. If you don't take it, you won't graduate. Okay, okay. so just take it. You. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Edmond, Edmond Tepeno, please ask your question quickly, please. Hello, madam. Edmond, yes, please go ahead. Go ahead, uh, pass, pass. Uh, uh, madam, please. The groups, I think you have right. So uh, how do I get uh, into yes, any of the How do you get signed up? Is the question, how do you join a group? Yes. Go to site info on Sakai, what I've just done with you. Uh, go to site in the tool called okay. site info. Go there and click on it. Okay. And then it will open here, down here, what I'm projecting now. Down here, this is site info. Okay. Uh -huh. When you select it, it will show. I did it with them. I think you joined us later. And to show you the good, okay. you join the one that the time should oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and you are good. Coming, yeah. Okay. Let's take I'm Senna. Not, not, is this Senna Pia Komla? Senna Pia, go ahead. Yes. Yes, Dr. Yes, I, I, I like that. Why you call me Dr. Nana Makuma Tommy? Eh? It's not easy to become a doctor <laughs> in the University of Ghana. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> well, uh, everybody was yeah. and everything is clear. Uh, my only yeah. question is, uh, if there is comparison of factors between uh, critical thinking and then uh, the scientific method or logical reasoning as we have in mathematics. Yes. In fact, it's a beautiful question. In fact, this is a proper, if we were doing fully critical thinking, then you do some deductive logic. That's philosophy proper. So in philosophy department, this course is hosted by the philosophy department of the University of Ghana. Okay. We, our level Thank 200 you. will yeah. implement of formal logic. The level 300 will do deductive logic proper, axiomatization, predicate logic, and stuff like that. Okay, that is where it will come out. Here we, we make it accessible to everybody. More French in this sort of, okay. So, <laughs> so we will we give you just small, small, so that people don't get straight yeah. unnecessarily. But okay, I think, okay. I think uh, what you are asking for, you get more of it if you were doing full ethnos, okay. Thank you, Good. Doctor. Okay. Okay. Let's take uh, Samson Awa. 
Afterwards, we'll take Sandra. Sandra, be on standby. Samson, go ahead. Doctor, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, yes, please. I wanted to know how you joined the groups. Oh, I just said it too. Don't worry. See, we are still there. Look on the screen. If you log into Sakai, you find your tools at the left side here. This is site info. Just select site info. Let me, let me, uh, let me I do can't, it. Hello. I can't, you can't see, see the, my I can't see the site. I can't see oh, the site info. Is there a bow? If you ask I your friends, I can't see the site info on my if screen. Like, let me ask. Can anybody see site info? <laughs> I can see it, but I can't see it on my laptop. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. When you finish, yes, are you sure you are in a call site? Our, you yeah. should be in a call site. Yeah. See, if you are here, if you are at home, you won't see site info. See, if you are at home, this is what you see. You see, you see that site info is not there. Yeah. Uh-huh. You shouldn't be at home. Look up here. You shouldn't be here. You should be inside the course. So here we are in UGRC 150 course site. Then when we will now we will see things. Obana Nibi. See what? That's site info. Try it when we are, we are done and see. Okay. See that when you select okay. site info now, it will open and give you this as a student. Then you go to groups you can join. When you select it, all the groups open. You look at the convenient okay. time and join. That's that's how you do it. Okay. We have some few okay. minutes, but we can still take some questions. Hey, Dr. Morgan Demeka. Doc, who Demeka? We did a program. Sandra, go ahead with your question. Auntie Sandra, I said you should stand by. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, my lady. Go ahead. Good evening, doctor. Yes, my Please, lady. My Papa. Papa. Thank you. Mm. Please, my critical thinking class is clashing with psychology class. There can't be but, a clash, um, sister. Sister, there can't be a clash. <laughs> Psycho doesn't meet you five times in the in the weekend. <laughs> okay. Which yes, time did you choose? Um, Which time did you choose? Uh -huh. Twelve to two p.m. From twelve for critical to 2 thinking. There is no twelve to two p.m. Yeah. slot. No, there is no twelve. For Monday, Look at it. Daddy, look, please look on the screen. These are the time slots. Saturday, 3.30 mm -hmm. to 5.30. Saturday, 10.30 to 12.30. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 10. Sunday, 3.30 to 5.30. Sunday, 3.30 to 5.30. Those are the times. So maybe we are looking at something. Else. No, please, but the group I joined, it was group one, Monday. Are you, hey, Auntie? Are you a, a distance education student? No. Hey. <laughs> this is D. I'm doing D. Please, if you're a main campus student, yeah, why not? <laughs> Somebody told you that they are doing critical thinking. You are home. Hey, my lady. <laughs> oh, don't don't let it worry you. Um, no one will see your face. Please. Nobody knows who you are, Kra. So feel free and talk. Why? <laughs> You saw it on some platform I, I, and you landed here. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, this is this. Uh, go ahead. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody knows you. Do they free? Why? They free. Grand a comfort for those. Okay, please. They said it is on Sakai, so we are supposed to join, select a group. Hey, join. You see what I was telling you, my sister. You have learned the, <laughs> the introduction. Why? Fuck that. It's not for main campus. I'm addressing distance education students now. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Please. Yes. So when we finish our main campus discussion tool is there. Go to that course site. You will see that there are slots yes. for Monday, Tuesday. Those are about 15 slots. Okay. Okay. This is distance education. Why? Very good. Okay, I'm happy please. it happened here for people to see. Sometimes when you say people think, oh, you are exaggerating. Yeah, you are exaggerating. Thank you, Sandra. Let's take two more. Oh, those that we are not able to address, if it's so pertinent to you, you can send me an email and eh? I'll respond to them. Let's take some more me quickly. Afterwards, I can take Opoku de Graft and then we end. Ah, Opoku de Graft, weren't you in the earlier yeah, session? Hello, madam. Yes, Vasa, yeah. Go ahead. Good evening. Please, uh, I think I've been able to assess my satire. We can go. I have only, I have only two calls there. Which um means, uh, critical thinking not part? Critical thinking is part, eh? It's not part. I only have. Uh, no, it's not part. And so then you then, yeah. then possibly haven't registered for it too. Registration is still ongoing, registered. so you can. Where did you register? I've done that. Where? Last Where week. did you register? 
No, don't worry. Where? Which which site did you register it? MIS, ITS. Do you know the difference? No, please. Uh -huh. So I don't want you to go to your college academic office eh, and tell them that critical mm -hmm. thinking doesn't show on your Sakai, but you believe you have registered. It, Maybe uh, they will migrate it. Uh, uh, of all the of all the five uh, courses, only only two is showing now. That's why I'm, today, I'm today giving you solution. I don't want you to give okay. problems. Okay, let me give you solutions. Okay. So I said, when you go to your college academic office, eh, tell them what you are telling me. Sometimes okay. it's just a matter of migrating, lifting all those registrations from one portal onto another. Then it will show. Sometimes they will tell you, like one of your colleagues said that they said we should wait for this or so time it will show. Sometimes they'll tell you, you haven't done the registration right. Go and do it here. Around this period, you are still able to do that because registration is ongoing. If it closes, you will do the course next semester. Okay, boss. So let's do it that way and see why. Mm. So far as some have appeared, it means the rest will come. So something has to be played for the rest to come. Most welcome. The last one. Opoku de Grant, I saw your name in the area. Please, I want you to please. Hello, madam. I know it's a last one. Hold on. Please, please. please. let me take uh, a <laughs> minute in Salami. I can see it this nicely. Salami, ask your question. Discrimination. Thank you very much. That's what happened. Go ahead. Thank you so much. So, um, Doc, please, um, my question is I, I heard you talking about uh, how to log into Sakai. But I've tried this yes. several times, it's not working. So I was patiently waiting for you to ask. ask how to, ask how to do what? Log questions. into Sakai? Yes, please. Oh, oh, that's the whole thing we did. I in this group, uh, when we finish, we just share the link. Would that be helpful to you? Yes, please. Oh, I'll be okay. When you key in Go. your your uh, student ID as a username and then your password yes. as your thing as a password. Oh dear. Then you enter into the site, and then this is what you see currently. What I'm projecting on the screen, you won't see all my all my courses there, do, but you see your own courses listed up here. Then you highlight the course you want to go into, and then you are good to go. It's so important to me that I told my colleagues that look, let's use the introductory part to do the navigating of Sakai, the course outline, explain what it means to have tutors, lecturers, lecture time, why we have, it's not a continuation so that if you miss the first two lectures this morning, it's as if you've missed, no, no, the first two lectures are a different group. So yours is as new as ever. The next two groups tomorrow will also have a new, the same thing, we'll do the same thing so that they can bring their questions, okay? So we'll, we'll pull the link and share, and I, I hope that it will be beneficial to you. Next week, God willing, do for this time, 3.35, you see Dr. Morgan who take over from me. me I, hope, God, I hope so, because I key in my ID and password, but they tell me it's wrong, unless the old one that If it's wrong, then it means you are key process. in the wrong details. <laughs> Boss. And the difference in this, it's not a kudu. It's not a, okay. what is the name of that? Corona. It's not Corona. <laughs> that one is Dr. maybe Dr. constipation. <laughs> So, so we'll look at it. You could send me an email. I'll check for you on my machine yes, and, and feedback. Why? Then let's take the very last. Okay. I'll Dr. discriminate. Nancy. Yes, my lady. Please. Go ahead. Um, I have joined a group. I've joined with two, and I yes. wanted to um like take part in the meeting this morning around ten thirty to twelve thirty. But I wasn't able. Work. I wasn't able to. Join. So I you have joined this you and Linda. Yes, I'm very the same, but I haven't gotten the full concept because when I joined, I think we were already getting. But the there. links, don't worry. The links, this one to be shared. The group two's link to I finished pulling it down. I've been teaching since, so I can't. I haven't uploaded to generate the link and share. So the three sessions we've had today, every group will have the discussion link shared to that specific group's members by email, like what I did, I showed you shortly. Okay, so you will have 
a recorded link of today's session for your group to, to engage. Okay, is that okay, thank, you. thank you very much. We have to end. We will end time to other lectures. Some are tired. Hello, hello, ma'am. On behalf of Dr. Morgan, I want to thank you. I think you comported yourself well out. I will relay this information to him. Look for him. Look for yourself. I wish you well on behalf of the team in all your endeavors. Everything you do is Hey, ready. In the semester, we wish you well. We pray that you just don't pass through the university, but if the university also passes through you and you come out very, very refined to make us proud. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. All the best and take care. God bless you. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm looking forward to stop the recording. Uh -huh. Okay, I just did. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. God bless you.